The integration center in SAP Success Factors enables HR business analysts to build, run, schedule, and monitor simple integrations. You can start building integrations for all SAP Success Factors modules, such as Employee Central, Recruiting, Performance Management, and Goals and Succession. In this video, I will give you a super quick overview of the integration center. So Integration Center is part of the SAP Success Factors HCM suite package and works even without Employee Central. The files generated in the Integration Center are directed to a configured SFTP server location. They are fully ready to be imported to the external provider system that needs synchronized data with Success Factors applications. The Integration Center consists of four parts, My Integrations, Monitor Integrations, Data Model Navigator and Security Center. In most cases, I believe that you will be using the first two parts. So let's have a look at the first one, My Integrations. Okay, in My Integrations, you can actually do two things. You can create your new integrations here. So you can uh, build uh, outbound integrations or inbound integrations. Integration Center supports both file and web service based outbound integrations. For file based integrations, Integration Center supports CSV, TXT, XML and EDI stacked formats. For web service based outbound integrations, Integration Center supports SOAP and REST outbound integrations. And additionally, Integration Center supports as well the good old CSV based inbound integrations. So that's the first thing you can do in um, monitor uh, in my integrations. Now, the second thing is you can also create or reuse existing integrations with the SAP API business hub. So if you want to reuse existing integrations, then I recommend you to have a look in this hub, which you can find behind the uh, browse catalog button here. So the SAP API Business Hub provides you with a one central repository for browsing and accessing APIs from SAP or also select partners. In some cases, you can test APIs uh, straight away and try out mock data in your system. Now, imagine that you want to uh, migrate employee skills from your existing SAP HCM on-premise system. So uh, skills that are stored in the PAPD module, then you may want to look at the following integration package. So this package enables you to integrate the business processes in your on-demand success factors HCM suite. So the cloud uh, with your SAP HCM on-premise system and this integration package covers uh, three scenarios a one-time upload of your employee skills stored in uh, the on-premise system, also transferring uh, changed or new competency catalog items from your cloud system towards your on-premise system. So that's the downwards integration. And then also you can uh, transfer changed and new companies, competency ratings from your cloud system towards your on-premise system. All right, secondly, we have monitoring integrations. You can monitor the status of executed integrations and those in progress. You can also view useful error messages or log messages in the execution manager. Example error log messages are the SFTP username is wrong, the destination folder doesn't exist and so on. Okay, we are back in the overview screen of the integration center. And the third capability is the data model navigator. Well, this navigator allows you to view the OData metadata in graphical form. And this tool graphically shows you the relationships between the APIs and can be filtered by success factors module and functional area. Let us consider an example where a manager wants to view his direct reports achievements. So we're going to look for the entity achievement and the entity user. All right. 
And now we can drag both entities closer. So then swiping to the left. All right. In this case, we have selected achievement and user at entities. And using this navigator, you can graphically see the relationship, the cardinality and navigation details between the two entities. So this is a very useful feature in the integration center. Last but not least, if you use integration center to send sensitive data, it's always recommended to encrypt the data at message level. Well, with the fourth tile security center, you manage integration keys for authentication and encryption. Previously, integration center offered just basic authentication that involved different username and password combinations to log into SFTP hosts. This was a stupid task since much time was invested generating new passwords for logon purposes. When you use certificate based authentication, you can generate a key pair using the other keys button. After the key pair is generated, you can log into the SFTP server without the need of entering passwords again. This method saves time and you can use Security Center for certificate based authentication. So in this video, I show you the four parts of the integration center in SAP success factors. So the first one was creating new ones. Second is monitor them. Inspecting the data below is the third one. And the fourth one is manage the security of the integrations. If you want to check out our other videos about sub success factors, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, IT has to be simple. Bye.